Hello beautifuls, my name is Epic Treasure and this is Castle 2.0, full tutorial step-by-step -step build, complete with timestamps. This power castle is a beautiful, beefed up, function increased and enhanced version of the original castle I made. I've reconstructed and deconstructed the castle three times and have run dozens and dozens of hours of stress tests to make sure that the power movement is seamless. It is aesthetically beautiful and functional for your pals, including the big boys too. With seamless movement throughout its interior, accommodating for player-friendly fast travel with all workbenches, including space for workbench 2 upgrades at your fingertips. I made this castle just for you. If you enjoy this build, I'd love you for you to like and subscribe. And please check out more videos on my channel for smaller builds such as the snow cabins, waterfall cabins and much more. Don't forget to check out the channel for best locations to build for massive monster builds like this and also the smaller builds too and so much more. I hope you're ready. This is a big one. Let's begin. So starting off we're going to have a look at terrain and picking your block of land. Ideally you want something flat then you don't have any dramas whatsoever. But when you're in a hilly area and you've got a big build, you can come across some very challenging features uh, when it comes to building because your foundations won't be able to touch the ground. So this one we can see looking for the lowest point on your land using your stone foundation, you can see at what point it won't connect. So once we start from over that block, build across, we might get to a point and be like, oh, well that builds over. So that's why I always say to build a perimeter in the first place. Get your uh, dimension sorted out, lay that out, out a section, and then put that down, and then you'll understand and know if that foundation will actually work. Be mindful of um, divots in the ground in the middle of your build too. There can be that problem. And importantly, make sure there's no fences or rocks, immovable rocks, in your build because you're not going to be able to remove those. Things like stone that you can mine, you can get rid of, you build over it, they won't come back. But if they're permanent boulders um, in the landscape or fences, you can't get rid of it. So never ever build with those things around. Just move your base out of the way. Obviously, we need to clear the land. We can still build through the trees and cut them as they come. But anything that you know that's on the ground, that's in the way, we won't be able to build through we have to pick them up if they're like objects or especially um, things that can get in the way a palace so if there is a bird in the way you might think well I can't build here but just be mindful about um, your pals being in the way or workers being in the way or something dropped on the ground that will stop that foundation from going down so keep that part in mind so we're going to build 17 across and 10 deep and this also is really important when it comes to putting that foundation down the way that it is angled towards. So while this one is like this, if we even adjust it like that, it could potentially, because it's 17 long, run off a cliff. So while it's all good and well when you start to have a look from down the other end, if this starting block is on an angle that it's, its trajectory is going out to a place that you can't build, then you're going to be in trouble. Keep in mind when you're building that especially if you're a different location have a look where the sun goes um, have a look at what way your castle or build is facing um, I find that quite well if you're into aesthetics it's quite important I think anyway so we're going to start building across and chopping the trees down as we go and as you can see you know it does look a little bit you know intimidating keep in mind also you can move your power box at any time it's not going to blow your your foundation up or anything like that um, it will remove your pals from functioning it'll remove um, pal objects you know like the breeding facility etc and then just rebuild it but please be very mindful of that because um, sometimes you have to build items before structures and if you take away the pal box I'll be mindful of this with this tutorial if you take away the pal box you'll have to rebuild a lot of structures um, that were overhanging um, over the top of say for example the breeding facility which we'll get to later First things first, let's do the 17 by 10. All right, stone foundation, make sure that the bricks are going horizontally. Get your crosshair 
just in line with the joining point. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Tree lopping time. That's what I want. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay. Don't look at that one. All right, and then we're going to go ten deep. So this is the. I mean, you could just fill in the gaps if you wanted to, but I just want to make sure that you can fit everything in. So again, one, rotate two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's going to fit just fine. We just ignore my shipping container there. So again, let's just chop these trees down on the way. And it's always handy with if you've got your pal box there, which I hope hopefully you do, just to have a handy worker that's around um, the one that with the box. Sorry the box that can go collect all of the items that are dropped on the ground to put it back in the container. So, again, rotate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 9, bang, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Lovely. So 10 deep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. So we're pretty good. Now these are the deep parts of the land. We can see in the middle. So the rest you can just fill in again. Don't go too crazy with it because sometimes you can just uh, slip up and end up having this foundation in the most bizarre location. So chopping the tree down. Whoops. It's hard to see through the bushes. All right. And keep on going. Keep on filling in those spots. I know that uh, seeing that all covered up over there is going to be like, oh, epic, you really shouldn't cover it up. But like I say, uh, I believe there should be... Um, three different bases if you're on pc you probably got five with mods but um, having different bases is always nice to have so for example you can see over there is my farming that's my farming base i was lucky to get it this this close to this one um, and then there's a, a pure sort of mining base so i mean having like a few nodes over there does not mean i mean it's a nice place but there's there's better locations to have sort of more effective mining uh, which you can check the channel for those. Actually, I can think I could show you it right now. Uh, over here. So get your coordinates while you're here. That's a really nice mining area. So 191, then minus 42. It has uh, eight nodes of ore, iron ore, and six coal. So And it's very sort of tight too. So... Um, very effective. You don't have creatures that are walking across the land to try and uh, mine and put them in the box, put the, the ore in the box, etc. It's just all very central. A couple of little berry farms on there too, so they're sort of self-sustainable. And it's all done for. You don't have to sort of worry about, oh, epic, why are you building over these like nodes of ore? It's, it's just really not necessary. So just keep on filling in all the bits and pieces. Thank you also for your amazing support on Castle 1.0. I really didn't anticipate making, you know, ex extensions, but you know if you love building in these games, uh, you sort of see potential in in your builds, in, in like the, 
you know, when you're looking at it, you go, this could be improved or that can be improved and I need more space for this. How am I going to do it? And then start, you know, putting extensions on and winding verandas. And, you know, that's the amazing part, the sort of super creative part is just letting these sort of literally sort of happy accidents happen um, as, as you need stuff, basically. Now, I know a lot of people are asking about these vines. Um, the vines are there when you build a defensive wall and you put vines on them and they stay. Um, somebody said that you could deconstruct the base and they would disappear. That does not work. But as you can see, it has that sort of um, degra like that degrading... Um, those degrading numbers to it so it can they can despawn if you allow them to get to obviously zero and then vanish which we won't be waiting for that but that's the only way to do it or build somewhere else well i've got hidden vines inside some of these uh some of these foundations because i didn't want to look at them so i built stuff over it just so i didn't have to see it and keep in mind if you can't build on a spot it's because the foundation doesn't reach the ground or it could be your pal might be obstructing that space or it could be a, a dropped item in that space. It could be a, like, a, like you can build over ore, see? I don't need it. I don't care. Um, but if it's, for example, a boulder in the ground from, you know, just the terrain, then obviously you can't. Sometimes you can. Sometimes it'll let you. Um, sometimes you can have a boulder half going through rocks. It's just, you know, luck of the draw a lot of the time. So make sure that you've got everything you know how I like to have it all uniform. And then get your axe and get rid of any stuff that's in the way. Now, you might be lucky. You might have an amazing block of land that's flat and you've already done all this. No problem. Lucky you. I've gone the, you know, typically not the path of least resistance. Don't worry about this coal. We don't need it. There's a better place. See, this Wixen was in the way then. We couldn't build because she was there. All right. I guess we want to be difficult sometimes, do we? But once you build over it, it's not coming back. I mean, if you remove the foundation again, then it will come back virtually immediately. Um, but... As long as your foundation's over something, it's not gonna, you're not going to have trees growing through your house. If you chop them down first and then put the foundation over it. But, or it seems that you can usually build over it like that. But the stone has a different agenda. So we're nearly there. We're going to fly over this spot. Um, we're going to move the PAL box because it needs to be on the foundation. We're going to be moving it again also, so don't get too comfortable and start slapping down... Um, you know, production lines and stuff early because, like I said, some of the things can be very finicky structurally. It's the same as the stairs. You literally have to build the stairs first before putting a box under the stairs um, because it doesn't work the other way around. So we won't worry about that shipping container. I'm going to be blowing that up later in the game. But that is how I've transported all the objects. So keep in mind, this is the place I had the castle, as you can see, and we deconstructed on live stream. And that was, it was more harrowing because it was like, I've got to rebuild this. I'm not sure if I'm going to remember because it's just, it's just so fiddly, especially the roofs. We'll get there. All right. So let's just get rid of this power box, move the power box, fill this in. See, everything is fine. Do not be afraid of blowing up your power box. And blowing up the power box is, is very handy when you sort of want to mine something briefly. Say, for example, up in the snow, you want some pure quartz. Uh, you can slap a, uh, your power box down there. Do your mining when you're done. Destroy the power box. You can destroy the power box remotely too, which is very cool. Um, like, I, I don't want this anymore. I just go dismantle. Bang. Goodbye. See you. Huh, so let's fly above and have a little look. That's what it looks like. 17 by 10. And we've had to extend parts of it for a few reasons, which include the extended production line. So version two of the production lines are four and a bit long. The original build that I had only accommodated for the smaller ones. So I got you. We're all. This is all end game friendly. Keep in mind if you um, want to go full 
raid embracing, then you're going to have to build your defensive walls, which is fine. It'll work on any any property, any build. <sighs> All right, let's get on with the outside. And we're going to start from the back of the castle this time. Usually I start from the front, but because there's a lot going on at the front of this castle, including pathways, etc., the back is the safest place to do it. <laughs> so let's get a rid of the bird and we're going to put the pal box down which is really important because that allows us all our access to our materials so the pal box and then make sure and often if the pal box is red it's because it's cl too close to uh, a like a building or it's too close to another structure um, something might be in the way but sometimes you could be the thing that's in the way too so we can see that's too close to another base so we just walk a walk a walk a walk away and here we can put it down here Remember, you can move it any time you like and your foundation will be intact. So, keep in mind where this foundation is, starting our build from this back corner and we're going to use the window, stone windows for this one. And we're gonna leave those four squares at the back empty. So, we're gonna go one, two, three, four across there. And then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five there. Now we're going to start to do the sloped roof. So this whole section is just going to be wing C. Um, this is going to be for our like production facilities. You can put whatever you want in there, but this is the way that um, this tutorial is anyway. So. You don't always need to build all this stuff. If you're an advanced builder, you probably know you know ways to make this quicker, but we're making this easy so we can understand how to build at the same time and how these pitch roofs work. So this pitch roof actually has a flat top on it. So it's pitched and then has this sort of flat spot. And that is to accommodate the need for how big it is um, on the inside of this place. So as you can see, let's get rid of that. We've got the back wall, which is one high, two high, three high, three high, two high, one. So it's one, two, three, three, two, one. You can see how that's going to look when that roof is on, right? So it's going to be four across the top. So let us begin the slanted roof. And remember, if you're new to building and you didn't see Castle 1.0 or any other builds, make sure you pay attention to your crosshairs all the time. And the crosshair will enable you to connect the roof to the joining point. So we don't want to join it here. We want to join it the highest point up here. And if it's facing the wrong way like that, you just, if you're on controller, I'm clicking RB or left B to spin it around like that and then place it down. Up here, the same story. Sometimes when they're high up, it can be a little bit more fiddly. But usually I stand up on the roof in the game and um, build. And there's roofs that we're going to sort of put put there and then remove, etc. Just depending on what foundation is around the area. Sometimes you have to build things first in order to remove them. So we've got our stone slanted roof here. Building down, rotating. Make sure that crosshair's on the back. Yeah, like that. Right, like that. So all this stuff in here, we'll, we will remove, but not yet. Don't go removing anything yet. Uh, this at least allows us to understand how uh, everything is placed and how the pitch, the pitch roof works with this. But yeah, there are quicker ways to do it, but it's nice to learn structure and you know trajectories and where this will connect to and where that will connect to so everybody's still learning diff different learning levels so while you might be super advanced not everybody else is so two three and then four on this one okay that's what it should look like from the front and then we'll break them later not yet like I say <sighs> So you can put, you know, the, the plain walls there. You don't have to have window ones. I'm just using them for structural purposes. 
and just fill it in, making them the same height all the way along. This one, this one, this one, this one. We don't want to do that there. Get carried away. <laughs> Stone slanted river, let's go. Top point, rotate, put it down. Okay, and then we'll go. We may as well just jump up there, makes it easier. So when you're on controller, people have asked, you know, how do you keep building without having to select it? So on Xbox, if I'm picking stone slanted roof, I select it with A, and then I, when I place it down, I hit Y. So Y, Y, Y. And it allows you sort of to perpetually build that same thing over and over again. You can run it along quicker, but there's so many chances for um, accidents putting things in the wrong place. So let's put this over here, there, there, rotate, there we go. And the last one there. So that is basically wing C complete. Let's have a little flyover. See what you've done. We're gonna feel in all the sides, don't you worry. We're gonna get your triangle sorted out. So once um, all of the roofs are connected to a, uh, like a vertical spot, they won't break. Once they're sort of anchored in, they're not going to disappear. So always, everything is always relying on one point connecting the ground, whether it be you know, horizontal or vertical. Um, so this part, I like to have sto like flat stone walls like that. And we can just break this now. Make sure you don't break the wrong thing, you might have to rebuild it all again. Uh, and then the stone triangular wall up there. Remember you just rotate it around if it's if it doesn't fit and it's red. And then we're going to take away all the structural part that built the pitch. Now be very careful with this because you don't want to break the wrong bit. Slow. <laughs> Slow and steady and then I just break the roof. Get on you. Get on you. That is fixable, thankfully. Um, so again, the stone wall here. The triangular wall at the top. Rotate and place it down. Again, another wall here. There. There. And I did it again. And I'm not going to edit it out. because you know the pain and suffering that you're going through and you can commiserate with me. All right, let's fill in. Let's drop that on the ground and fill in the triangles. Rotate, there we go. And then just fix up the accidents from before. Remember, connect to the highest point up there, done. Over here. Sometimes it might be too high to do it. I'm going to get motion sickness with that. We'll manually go do it. Yep. All right, Larky last stone roof. All right, let's break the middle of this one out again. Carefully. This time. Alright, what have we got laying around? We've got some floating vines and also this bit. Alright, so, and we've got down this bit too. Another triangle bit. Rotate. Break. Ah, now we're good. <sighs> Wing C complete. So, if you built Castle 1.0, it will be here. It'll be in the middle. Again, check the blueprints in the Discord. This is the wing that goes off it. And it was originally, when I first extended, it was three long. Now it's four long to accommodate for those larger production lines. 
So let's move on with the main part of the castle. This can get fiddly, so you might want to take a break now and come back. And we'll continue on. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You know what to do. All right, here comes the fun part. It gets a little bit fiddly. So, fun times. We're going to put a stone door here. Then we're going to put three flat stone walls above it. One, two, I'm going to climb up this next bit. Three. Then we're going to get down. And then on this next bit, next to the stone door, we're going to put two stone walls. One, two, and then we're going to put a window above it. Like that. The next bit is recessed. So we're going to get a stone wall window and go in, flat, and then one out like that, recessed. We're going to get the PAL box and move it. Just over here, so it's out of the way. Then what we're going to do is leave these two spaces here. This is for our gates. So two spaces, then stop. And we're going to mirror what we just did with that recessed section with the uh, windows. One, two, three. Okay. Then again, we're going to get the flat one stone wall. And we're going to go two. And then a window on top of that one. Like that. So as you can see, they're the same. This one again is going to have a stone door here. Then we're going to have a stone wall, three above it. One, and climb up the wall. Two, three. Then after that, we're going to have a space here. Then we're going to have three stone windows. Three, like that. Let them have it out. So again, this section is going to be the same as the pitched roof over there, but we're not going to build that yet because with the breeding facility that's going to go in there, we have to build that first, then build the roof over it. That's just how it is. So we're going to move on to the back. The back has been changed from 1.0 and the reason for that was to make sure that we could fit everything we want in it without things that are sort of jutting into the walls. So pay attention to what's different with your 1.0 castle if you did build that. If you didn't, well, you don't have to worry about it. So let's build the back. All right, so this is a little bit of a fiddly one and if you watch the upload, You'll know that I'm smiling through the pain with this one. I've rebuilt it 10 times now. Um, and in the original upload, that was only up for you know, a couple of hours. Um, it had you know over 2,000 views already. And it, there was a little bit of confusion there from my part because the part that I uploaded was the, the part that jutted out too far into this, this back veranda part. And I realised that I wanted some thoroughfare out there and I wanted to jut into the castle a bit. So... This is the better version, I got you, don't worry. So the reason why these um, cabinets are here is because you have to literally build them first. You have to erect these cabinets first. You can't build a roof first, then the cabinets, as of February 2024. So put your cabinets down. If you've got the small chests, so if you've got, for example, um, you know, the metal chest, that's fine, because it's only little. It's the bigger ones that you need to put down first, then the roof on top. Some of them won't fit. Like the big display cabinet, it won't fit on a one-by-one. One. 
but these need to be built first. So we're going to do the blank stone walls behind them. So let's get our bearings now. This is the back of the castle. This is where that wing is, right? Ignore any decorations that you see. So we're going out <clears throat> by two for the room. Then we're going to put some windows in here and here. And then upstairs, one, two, three. Because that's the bedroom, remember. Um, in the tutorial, in, in the, sorry, the tour, you would have seen that with all the crazy curtains everywhere. If you watched it. If you haven't, then go watch that. Uh, to, to get excited about this build. Um, so we've got a roof and a roof. Okay, so that's the bedroom upstairs and the storage downstairs. And what I'm going to do is walk you back and we're going to put another two, one, two, like that. Okay, now down here we're going to close it off with a blank stone wall, like that. Then we're going to put a door there, a stone door, like that. Right? So that's what that part looks like. Don't look at the roof or anything else like that yet. I've got you covered later. So then what we're going to do is have the stone wall that run, runs along uh, this part here to close her in. You can put a window there if you want. And remember, this is the back of the castle. So we're putting this stone wall here. Okay, this is a part that can easily be mucked up because once you're at a back wall, you keep going. This is just flat. So it's window, flat, door, flat. Then another flat above it. Okay, that's what that part looks like. See how it juts out? It eats into the outside. So we're saving space instead of, you know, going all the way into the castle. So stone stairs we're going to put here. And then we're going to put our stone wall walls up above it. Now we've got another door to put though first, which is here, up the top of the stairs. Like that. <laughs> and then we're going to build uh, the stone walls to, ho to hide, to hide our view of the pals downstairs. Now we can put another wall and just ignore the whole roof we're going to do that later just just do this bit and then just leave it then we're going to put it there okay so we're in the bedroom right now and then we're going to put the stone window there just remember it's just a box it's a it's a two by two um and then we're going to put um a wall uh, here after we smash away the slope roof because that's how it is remember you sometimes got to build the walls first, sometimes you got to build stairs first, you know, it's just, it's wild. So, landed roof, I can just build secretly through that window. I can build it through the window if it lets me do it. I want it in there. You want to be difficult, do you? I'm just going to get, ah, there you go. All right, back. So, that's done. Right? Now, So at the back part, we want this to be, to be higher so we can put a stone window up there if you want. And then we're going to box the roof in. So stone roof, make sure that they are flowing the right way. And then a stone roof over there like that. Then we're going to have a slope roof that goes down. Instead of having a big box hanging out of the place, um, we're going to have a sloped roof. So we can put a triangle there. And then we can have a triangle here. And then we're going to have a sloped roof from that bit to that bit. So sloped roof there. Remember the crosshairs again. And don't look at that other roof. You don't need to see it right now. And then there like that. So this is what this bedroom looks like. Let's just pause it, have a look. You could put a window there, but I mean, you're going to see half of a slope of a thing. And you could just put your chairs there, you could put your fireplace there. There's a decoration video if you want to watch that. Look at this. Ooh, lovely. Don't look at that decoration outside. That's for later um, so and then don't forget to fill in uh, that box part up here so we're just gonna go here don't worry about the roof we haven't done it yet in, in your in your build in your world <laughs> so don't you worry that is under control so that is what it looks like you're doing very well here we have um, our two gates 
This is where the gates go, here and here. So we skip those two parts, which will run perfectly aligned with those ones. So we're going to skip those little squares because I'm not putting the gates in yet and we're going to build two flat walls so two stone we're going to put windows here so we'll skip that for now and then two of these then we'll go to our windows there like that then what we're going to do is we're going to build one in now remember on all corners of my castles I always have them solid that's how you know that you're uh, you know everything's aligned and right so we'll just put that there um, and then over here we want to have two walls here so one two and then again like that so the gate that goes to the breeding facility will be out here that's where she goes so let's have a look here uh, take Anubis away I'm going to move your, remove your pals anytime that you want to uh, place things down to test otherwise they always get in the way oh, as you can see it goes there and then we're going to build the roof over it now you might be lucky <clears throat> you might be able to build another uh, line of uh, foundation there to make it even you know more comfortable but if you can't then it's fine it'll still go there sometimes you just have to jiggle it around a little bit so that is the whole perimeter um, base of the main part, Castle 1.0. And then obviously we're going to start building up. And this is where it gets a little bit hairy, uh, just because it's very sort of finicky. It's just how the, the tops of the castle go, the recessed parts at the front and all that. So this is a, this is a point that I would be <laughs> I'd be taking a break and then coming back because this part's going to be very fiddly. All right, let's continue on. Ah, the part we've been dreading the most. This is the main structure of Castle 1.0 now. Um, if you built Castle 1.0 on a beautiful flat block of land, good for you. The rest of us are uh, in this realm of suffering. But it's all a good, good fun and it'll look amazing in the end. But if you built on flat land, I envy you right now. So. We're going to go to the left of the castle, so our left, here. So remember, just looking at it, we've got the door, three flat, stone above it, one next to it, two flat stone and one window. Just look at what that looks like. You might want to pause it. We're going to run around the back of that and we're going to close off this tower. This is like the main feature. So stone wall there. We need to break this sloped roof briefly, put out another stone wall there, rebuild the sloped roof. Aha. Uh -huh. And like so. Then we're going to go up here and we're going to start blocking it off. Now we need to get a little uh, roof here to make it easy for us to get up on it temporarily and then we need to put our walls up so we'll just jump up there put our wall and then put our roof on the top make sure it's facing the right way and then we need to go down here and close off don't worry about these other roofs that are there we're going to break them later like that okay all happening again we can actually break that now there we go. all right so that's what that part looks like the next part is important because it's easy to muck this up so we have our our door and then three flat walls above it then we're going to put our defensive wall here you unlock that in your tech tree if you don't have it you can build it later you don't need to do it right now but I'm just doing it in case you do have it. So again, you get your defensive wall and just bring it out, bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. So you see the red just emerging exactly the same time. That's when you know it's right. Then look below, make sure it's in the right spot there. And once it turns blue, you put that sucker down. There we go. 
There we go. So our defensive walls up. It's really nice to add dimension and depth and different texture. Otherwise, like at the start, it just looked like a prison. So this is an important part that can easily be mucked up. I've mucked it up many times. You wouldn't even, you probably would imagine. So we want this to be closed off. And then we have this part here. We have a, this is the recess part. Window, window. Another window, please. On top of that. Right, now stop. It's easy to put one here, but we're not doing that. We don't put another window up there, we chill. Same over this side. So window, window, window there, okay? Like that. Then we're going to put another blank one above those. Let's jump up this wall. Do not build that other bit up though. Stone wall, up here, like that. And then we'll go do this one over here. Yep. Up on that bit, right? So this is what the front should look like right now. Let's just, <laughs> let's have a look at a bird's eye perspective and make life easier. There we go. That should make it easier to understand. I'll just, I'll angle it that way so you can just take note. You might want to pause it, suss it out, make sure it's all even, Stephen. So these two windows here will have a wall between them. This part here has a roof. We're going to build the roof now that goes rotate here and here like that this is where our gates go okay so we're going to go over here and we're going to jump up here onto this flat landing and we're going to put the two stone walls side by side right next to those stone walls in front of them we're going to put our defensive wall again same story as before Run it into the wall, make sure it's even looked down, make sure it's on the right spot, because this can get very finicky. If you want to muck around with this later instead, do it. Okay, there's that one. And then again, that's perfectly aligned already. And Bob's your uncle. So <laughs> that worked out well. So this is what it looks like. Isn't it beautiful? So now let's get up here. start to continue on. Now remember we'll use vines later, connect everything. So continuing across we're going to finish off this capping of this big one here. We're going to put a stone roof there. We're going to put the stone roof on the top and then we're going to be very gingerly and careful and put the roof on this bit too. Close this part off. Don't worry we're going to clean it up later like so. We put another roof here the right way and then we have this part that we need to close off here we can just break that put the stone wall there on it like that then we're going to make this part flat easy peasy easy peasy all right as you know this part is where the gates are to the breeding facility so these have two stone roofs that go across one two this part we know is four high so we have stone wall stone wall roof and then we can put the other wall on that after we put a roof in there stone wall and a stone wall like that so you remember it goes big little big so big the next one's going to be the lower one okay all even all the same so we're going to do a stone 
window down here and then that's going to be capped off too. So if it'll let me put the roof there, ah, it does, good. And then that needs to be built downward. So there's that. We need to cap that down too. So I wonder if it'll let me, probably not. Let's go stone wall. Okay, let's jump up there. Go roof, then the stone wall. I'm gonna build on top of you, mister. Don't make things difficult. Like that. So remember, big, small. Again, we're gonna do a roof over on this bit connect it and then flat at the back ah gotcha and again yeah very careful okay looking good and then build that one whoops yes fun look at you go all right so this part we can do um our stone roof again make sure it's all even now remember there is a part in this castle that rises up higher than the rest now this is this is just really for aesthetic purposes there's no like you know uh, productive reasons to have um the the fifth level you could you could go crazy you could make you know amazing sneaky you know, rooftop quarters and things like that if it tickled your fancy. Um, but this is where it happens. This is where the magic happens. We just put the roof there. Okay. So the five high one. So this is four high. The fifth one goes up here just to give you some sort of um, idea of where everything's going to go. So we put our roof in there. Rotate, put our roof in there. This is the point where we have our another big boy, okay? We have another big boy there. Now again, we're going to have to adjust a lot of stuff with the roof, you know, things that are jutting out, so on and so forth. Um, but for now, let's just get this roof stuff sorted out. Um, we need to get our stone wall, build it there, build it there. You can fly over here. There's a lot of fiddle-faddling that goes on with these roofs, I can tell you that much. Um, and then our stone wall. Oh, we need to do our roof first. Stone roof. Rotate. Stone wall. There. Again, cap it off. There. Just make sure everything's capped off when it comes to the rooftop. Okay. So we have the gap there. The stone roof could go like so. Then we have the big one on top. Now you can keep that. Remember, under this, this is the sleeping quarters. But you don't like. You could rip out this and like gut it. But I just don't see that. There's no real point in it. Um, so we're just going to build the stone wall around the top of it. One, two, three, four, and then the roof. Stone roof on that, rotate it if I can get up on it. Easy peasy. Look at this. Who said this was hard? I did, that's right. So again, we just follow the pattern, right? Connect, connect. Don't worry about that bit yet. Over here is where our big double gates are. and then we're going to build the big one there. So again, as usual, stone wall, stone wall, stone wall, stone roof. You amazed that I know where everything is finally? <laughs> Maybe. And we can gut that later, don't you worry about it. And then we're gonna go down here. We're gonna fill in the blanks. One there. You could put a window up there, but it's a bedroom, so we don't really want to have a view out to the PAL, PAL world section. 
All right, we can get rid of this uh, scaffolding. Look at it. You're nearly done. Wouldn't it be amazing if they had glass and we could just have a, a view of the sky? That would be crazy. One day. Fingers crossed. All right, we're on the home stretch, baby. So let us have a look out the front. You should be proud. You should be looking at this now going, God damn, look what I just built. Look at that. That is wild. All right, let's finish off this roof. Looks beautiful. So this is the point where we have five high and this is where you can go wild with your creativity later and add on your extra things if you want to. This is where I added on dimension and it's four across and five high from the ground. So we're just going to go build a box basically from here to the end. That's one high. That makes any sense. So stone wall click and then bang onto that <laughs> there, there it is and I did not know how often I say bang until it was brought to my attention sorry about that some people love it some people hate it it was not intentional I don't didn't realize I did it <laughs> I was just trying to focus on what I was doing so again, this is only one wide. You can make it bigger if you want. You could have a whole s sneaky, sneaky loft area, but I'm only doing it one because you know we don't want castles end up to have 7.0 and stuff. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> don't forget to like and comment. You know what to do. <laughs> Subscribe <laughs> on my pain and suffering. All right, let's cap this in uh, stone wall. Click, there we go. Look at it go. And uh, then here. So again, it just literally adds height to the whole build. And jump on up. And I don't know if we can reach down there. I don't think we can. We can do this bit though. You could find other uses for this little spot. Who knows? Uh, yeah, but it would be great if they had like glass or stained glass. Imagine if you filled all the top of this in with stained glass. Wouldn't that be exciting? I'm aware how nerdy that sounded, but it's true. All right, rotate. There we go. All right. Now, remember these have gates, so we need a stone roof also for protection from raids, so on and so forth. And then you could put windows up the top if it tickled your fancy, you could have it just plain. It's a, it can be a very dark place if you um, don't have a lot of lighting in there. But um, yeah. And then the lucky last one at the top like that. You don't have to have windows, you could just have plane if you want. Then break it, break it, break it, break it. Keep those two. Adds a little bit more airiness to it. Then we can put our big gate on. Rotate it. Depends on what way you want the gate to swing. Doesn't really matter too much. Okay, get your Anubis out. And then another gate over here. Again, you can fine tune this later. There, Anubis will do that one. Then we'll have a uh, double gate over here. So we know that we have to build this bit up again. It doesn't really matter what you build. It's, it's literally for scaffolding purposes and stuff. Just climb up there. And then one there there break that stone gate we'll actually do this stone gate later uh, the breeding facility can be very finicky okay look at that look at you go so um, with this part the, the unfortunate part is with it you can't just like slot in triangles 
uh, which is very painful. I wish that you could, but you cannot. Uh, so we're going to go put that there, climb up here. We're going to break that bit. We're going to put a stone wall in. Uh, we're going to have to build it like that, like that, like that. Then build the slope roof again. When I find it. There we go. Slope roof is done. And if you want your room divided up, if you don't need those massive big um, production lines that take four and a bit long, you could literally just have these sort of things around the place. But again, this whole thing I built with the idea in mind that I just wanted the pals to be able to move freely throughout the place. So the same is going to be for this one. Uh, again, the stone wall, so you just can't plop it down, fortunately. So go up here. We're going to break you. We're going to put the stone wall up there. Then we're going to put the slope roof in place of it. Ah, let me do it straight away. Lovely. And then break that. Okay. We're looking good. And if you want, you could just, you know, put something across the front of there. Whatever you want. Uh, my original build had it just running across the whole middle. So it literally just looks like... You could even put wood there if you wanted to. You just put a wooden a whole bunch of wooden beams across, but... You can just play around with it. But just remember what you're breaking. Some things just don't let you do it. Uh, the other part that we did not do... Whoops. Uh, is this uh, tavern part, right? So let's do that quickly. So we have our door here. I want to have the door there. Um, you could have a little window, a little peekaboo window into the into the storage section or not. I like to keep it secret and safe like that. So as you go in, surprise, storage. I also like to have storage around the place so it's just quick, quick and easy to access it. Now, let's just take Anubis away. This is a really important part that took so much fine tuning, it was wild. <sighs> but like I said, you might be lucky and you might have a whole section um, of foundation being able to be built out here like this, right? So if you've got foundation to do it, just go crazy. I would be putting all the foundation I can down if I had the space. Oh, that's an error we don't want to have happen, isn't it? And again, and again. So that makes it easier for us to put the breeding facility down. You might not have the room. It's not that big of a deal. It will still fit. And you could even put another one on there if you wanted to. Because the one at the other end is four long. Originally it was three on the wing and then three on the wing. Then I had to make it four over the other side. And now this side can accommodate four for me, but it might not for you. So, important part here. We will do the slope roof to start with because I know that we can afford to have one. So, stone roof. Like that. I would just build two for the moment while we uh, swing this breed. You don't have to have the breeding facility. You could have this is a beautiful crop area, a beautiful farm farmyard area. Now keep in mind this is really important. You absolutely must have a stone roof connecting things. Like I've said before, you need stuff, not necessarily stone, but some anchor for your build. Um, because otherwise, if it's not anchored, they just don't float. Obviously, it's not like Minecraft. So, um, oopsie. They need to, to be anchored to something. So, we'll go stone roof. Uh, actually, that is fine. And then build the slender roof there. Ah, ah, ah. Get your wall on. Wall, then the slanted roof. Planted roof. So let's get this breeding thing down. And that allows us to breathe a little bit more. 
All right. So get out of the way for this. Make sure your pet isn't out. Breeding facility is here. Breeding farm. So we just have to, you know, jiggle it a little bit. So, I mean, this is very generous because we've got all this space over here. You might not. You might have it to here. You'll still fit it just fine. Um, and then just keep note of where that box is because that's where you put the cake. Which sounds really nerdy, I know. But just consider where that roof is. So if you put it there, it won't fit there. I kind of like it even like that. But if you want it full sloped and everything like that, you might have to put the, the big part at the highest pitch. Like that. It depends on if it lets you do it. Because that's really pushing, pushing the boundaries. Look at that. That needs to be two slopes high. So we'll give it a go and see what happens. And if not, then we just have to to rejig it. So back to foundations. Uh, back to our stone roof here. Actually, not that stone. Yes. Uh, yes. And if you're lucky, you will be able to build full full uh, enclosure. But sometimes you might only be able to build, you know, half or a quarter of the slope roof over it. Get rid of your trees if they're in the way. And then our slope roofed again there. And our stone wall there. Roof there. So that's one. So we can already see. Yes, we can. Yes. Yes, and remember, look at where the crosshair is. It's not on the end, it's just below when you go up, when it lets you do it. So at this point, this is where we have a flat roof. Go across your stone roof. Make it horizontal. Don't muck it up. Horizontal. Horizontal. Oh, we can break all that stuff. I forgot. Yes, you can. Ah, uh, and we need a wall there. You could have a plain one. You could actually put a door there, whatever. Whatever you like. And then... Break that, break that. Be very, very careful with this. Very careful. Right. She's looking fine. Okay. But we do have to build that. Anubis gone. Help me build it, buddy. I'm so happy. Now, don't forget, you can build a defensive wall over here while we're at it. Again, run it into the wall, point down, move, move, move so it's even. Jut it out. Quick! Done. build um, anything you want. You could even have this part flat. Let it let it let you tell it where it wants to go. Will we be lucky? We will be lucky. I don't think we're lucky here though. Oh, that's that's a tricky one. You're the tricky one. Tricky, tricky. But look at this. 
So this is just an ad lib one. You don't have to do this. This is just because mine doesn't fit. <laughs> it's Leonard Roof. It, it depends on whatever roll of the dice you get. But here we've got this one. Or it could just stick out. Or you could just have it not there at all. I don't like that. I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't even have a script. I've just got pictures. <laughs> don't even do it. So at that point, I'm just going to do it like that. We don't even, I don't even want it that low. I don't even want it that low. I'll just leave it. There we go. So, yeah, it really depends on what you've got available to you. All right, so now we want the big stone gates again because we don't want these creatures. Anubis, I need you out. We don't want these creatures coming into our vicinity. Might have to stay, get in there to do it. No, that's right. And you can't shut the gate with that in the way. Now you let me do it, won't you? Here we go. And then build it. Let's have a little flyover and then we can get our ivy on. And preferably not the ivy that's floating inside the castle right now. So you could close that off if you wanted to. Just have to flat stone. Ah, oh, look what we've been a little missed out on. Move. Of all places, Anubis, move. We'll one defensive wall out here. We go. All right, let's have a fly. Let's have a flyover. It looks so clean, doesn't it? So clean and tidy. One other thing that you could do is you could have another block there. But I like to see the lava flowing in the background. Really nice and neat and uniform. This is actually better than my, my other build. But look at it, it's just stunning. It's just so aesthetically pleasing. Let's see if I get some screenshots of this. I don't think I can. I don't think my screenshot thing's working. So pretty. So what is that? Oh, that's okay. We, we do, I did one mistake, it was not a mistake. One thing I didn't close off. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can. I think I might just have to box her in. I looked, I thought, what are these walls doing? I mean, they're fine where they are, but I don't know. If you're pedantic, then you kind of want to, kind of want to close it off. You could um, put some like braziers behind there or campfires behind there if you wanted to create a like a you know the, the burning fiery effect from the creepy castle gosh you look good take a picture of that along this front part it is one wide and then it goes two wide so at your defensive wall it should be two squares wide and then get rid of it. Get rid of the foundation that's there. Okay? Two wide. So we know that it all goes like that from that defensive wall. And also there. So basically the front doors 
will have the part that goes out as far as possible. This will get very fiddly if you're on ground like mine and it takes a lot of sort of jiggling around if you're on uneven ground. Um, but if you're on flat, flat land, you could make this, this runway, this path go forever, which is lucky you. So again, break away all of that along the way. You can keep it there if you like it. Then it moves to, at the, in line with this window that's next to the front door, that's where we have the final one that goes to. Then this one goes to one. Like that. So again, to the window. And in this case, it's open thing. That is the one. That is the last one with two. And then we just go, see ya. Could actually add another one onto this bit too. Yeah. So then we're going to go and put our stone stairs down here, here, here. Let's leave the tree. They might get stuck on the tree if you're not careful. Just keep an eye on that. But and then stairs, stairs, stairs. 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 We have to put some foundations underneath that because she's floating. So that's where it gets a little bit finicky. We can get rid of the bed. Like that. Then we can do our stairs over here. So we'll do some problem solving in a moment. If your stairs are for loading, so these ones are fine, these ones are not. So if your little runway, your little pathway at the front is on very steep land, you can literally make a foundation and run stairs onto it. Just make sure that it is aligned with it and it's literally just trial and error. It's not always going to fit, but it will eventually fit when you keep trying. There we go. And there's just a tiny little bit, tiny little bit different so it's literally and you can't put the stairs first that's just how this game goes and then we go the stairs and then we're allowed to do it so then we go to foundation just click that next to it correct get our stairs put our stairs on there and you can shroud it with um uh, whether, whether it be like benches or uh, crops or whatever tickles your fancy. So we've got stairs, we've got a beautiful little walkway there. Um, and then that can continue on if you like. You can just keep going and going and going. Uh, just depending on the how steep the property is. So we can go there, we can go there, we can just keep going. But sometimes it's just very... Um, you know virtually impossible so this one's a little bit different to my original build which was very flat um, so let's light this up with some daylight congratulations you have completed castle 2.0 now if you want to dive deep into raids and uh, all the super survival mode you might just need to take one uh, square for example off the perimeter where we can see it's purely cosmetic. That's just a porch. It doesn't need to be there, but I just like the look of it there. And over this side, we have the breeding facility, which is literally pinpointed to make sure that that perimeter is not infiltrating that for, you know, interruption for the breeding process. But it's absolutely stunning. I can promise you everything was within its borders. If yours are not, all you need to do is just adjust it again until it is right. Congratulations again. I hope you enjoy the build and many more to come whether it be Pal World or Minecraft or whatever new games come out. And you can see my beautiful breeding facility over there with my jet dragons. Lots of eggs. Hmm. Stay tuned. And uh, next video up is decorating this beautiful castle. I wanted to keep it separate because you know this one's taken a while. So stay tuned for part two, which is decorating and putting all your features with inside the castle. Let's go.